Hi, this is Kevin Boyer with the Santa Rosa Press Gazette, and I'm here with our Main Street Milton Photography Contest winners, Kevin Yateman, Hillary Clark, and Jamie Amos. And why don't you just tell us a little bit about how you took the pictures and what inspired you to take the actual photos that you took that made it into the state competition? Um, you got that. Start first, okay. Uh, well, mine, I did it during the uh, Arts Festival. I think that was in March. And uh, I'm, 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 before this, I've come down here probably 10 times trying to capture that bridge open. We've got plenty of them closed, but open. I wanted it again. It just happened to be open on that day during the Arts Festival. So I was like, hey, I'll get my drone up and get a picture of the city and the bridge open all lined up. It looked, real, looked like a cool shot, so I took it. Okay. I thought that the river should be included in, in at least several of the pictures because I feel like it's such a main part of downtown Milton. And so I actually went across the river to the other side to take it of Milton and use a, a wide angle to capture as much of it as I can with the blue skies and cloud coverage it turned out to be safe. Okay. Um, I love fog. So when it's foggy out, nothing's better to me. It makes it more of an impact on a historical area than some nice big fog. It gives it a, a mood. So when I saw it was really foggy out, I headed to downtown. You headed to downtown? Okay. Is photography just a passion, passion for each of you or is it a career for any of you? It's a career for me. It's a career for you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Full-time. Full -time. Do you run your own business or mm -hmm. are you part of you? Okay. What's your business? GMA Photography. GMA Photography. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about you? It's a hobby. I do sell my prints, Hillary Clark Photography, but it's more of a hobby for me. I do mostly landscapes, um, trying to do mostly landscapes anyways, so it, it is strictly a hobby for me. Okay. It was a hobby. It was yeah, a hobby. It's now a career. Okay. Uh, I'm an aerospace engineer, uh, so I got into drones with uh, my aerospace degree, and then I decided to see what I could do with drones with uh, you know, real estate photography. Okay. So now it's a career. I do this full time. Okay. What was your, what did you, how did you react when you found out that each of you had made it into the, you won the Milton competition, you were going into the state finals now? Lots of screaming and dancing. <laughs> so maybe some fist pumps. Yeah. It makes you feel good that something that you worked hard at that, you know, try to capture something that people look at and see quality pictures that, I guess we should feel good. Okay. Uh, honestly, first thing I thought was uh, I should have edited that more. <laughs> <laughs> no, but then I was like, oh yeah, it's really, really cool. Really excited. Okay. It's a pretty good distinction to have. What advice could each of you give to any young photographers who may want to take this on as a, either a hobby or a professional career? Just learn your camera. You can shoot. You don't have to have the most expensive camera to take the best pictures. You need to learn how to use any camera you have, and then you can take the best pictures with what you have. Okay. I would say take as many pictures as you can, because especially with landscape photography, like with this picture, in my opinion, the clouds do everything in that picture. I took another picture a lot like that, but it was kind of stormy looking and it came out nowhere near that picture. So if you take, even if you take 500 pictures, you may get two really good pictures. And you wanna get frustrated because you wanna think, I just took 497 really bad pictures, but you gotta focus on the good ones that you capture. And once you get those, focus on, on, the, and what, you, focus on what you did on the good ones, because with photography, it's so much timing. It's, in my, in my experience, timing is a key with photography, especially landscape. Okay. I agree with both of them. Okay. They just said, uh, you don't need the most expensive camera, of course. You need to know how to use the one you have. I used the Rebel XS for about 10 years. And very successful. You would never know the difference between that and what I use now, honestly. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you, get, you know, get a decent DSLR, mm -hmm. I would say, and learn how to use that. Okay. And take lots and lots of pictures. Okay. Well, Mr. Damon, you said that you use a drone. Can you explain what yes, a drone is? It's a Mavic Pro. It's a smaller drone. I have several drones, but I use a Mavic Pro almost ex exclusively because it's portable, very portable. It's about this big one. It's folded up. Uh, the camera in it is pretty powerful. I think it's only 12 megapixel, but I mean, that's not really a, a big concern. Uh, 
Yeah, anything else you want to know about? What is you, it? You got to be licensed, of course. Uh, there's a lot of liability there. If you crash your insurance, you got to be insured, licensed uh, through the FAA. It's a test you have to take. Uh, it's pretty. It's a pretty difficult test. Uh, I found it a little more difficult. And I'm actually in the industry, so it was it kind of caught me by surprise. Um, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, I mean, you got to fly in certain areas too. You got to be really careful because the airport's right over there. So, yeah, I got Class C rating. That's how I could fly there in that area. Okay. But, you know, 100 yards over it, really, you, you can't, can't fly. Miss <laughs> Clark, what camera did you use to take the picture? I actually time? use a Nikon. These two guys apparently are Canon people. But either either your Nikon or your Canon, I mean, they're both pretty much I, probably the same. I just prefer Nikon because that's what I started with. Um, but I use a Nikon D810, which is uh, also DSLR. And like I said, a wide angle lens is a 14 to 24 Nikon wide angle lens. So I'm a Nikon girl, but I'm not opposed to whatever. It doesn't matter to me. And Ms. Amos, you said that you used a Canon? Mm -hmm. I used a Canon 60. And I believe I took that with my 35 millimeter print, if I recall. And I, I, I know I asked you this before, but when you both, when you all received the news that you won, was there any particular thought that ran through your mind? I had it as, um, I write a list of goals that I want to achieve every year, and that was top of my list, was, was to win a competition, to finally feel like I'm getting somewhere with my photography, to, because I wanted to keep pushing myself and keep growing, so that was one of the things on my list, and I achieved it halfway through the year. I mean, like I said, it was, it felt good to have your photo recognize something that was kind of just like, oh, there's a contest, so I'll go take, take a few shots, and to actually get some decent shots that, that actually won was, I was surprised, and it was exciting. Yeah. Yeah, I was, I was definitely surprised. Surprised. I mean, I really, I think that photo, I'm very critical of what I do, and I didn't think that was the greatest photo. I submitted like seven to them, but uh, yeah. Happy. You're happy. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Do you have any other thoughts or advice that you want to share with the city of Milton? No, like I said, as far as photography goes, I, I would just say take as many pictures as you can and focus, focus on something that you enjoy taking pictures of. I was into family photography and didn't love it. So I kind of got out of it, and I'm focusing now on landscaping. That's what I really, really love. Uh -huh. So take pictures of something you really enjoy. Okay. And for me, for the city, is for them to keep it historic. Don't look things down. Preserve everything because it's an amazing place. It's gorgeous. I agree. Yeah, historic. I love this city because it's so historic. Try to uh, maintain instead of tearing it down. Try to, try to uh, save all the historic aspects of the town. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And this was Kevin Boy with the Santa Rosa Press Gazette.